COAF was founded uh, because of the need to resource and empower, very important to empower our young people. It was an experiment that delivered what people thought would be impossible. What we have done in the last 20 years is touch the lives of over 100,000 villagers, scores of young people. And what we need to do in the next five years is attempt to touch the lives of the rest of the village communities, 900,000 people. Sounds impossible, but if we don't try, it will be impossible. To do this, we need to unite. Unite as people, unite as a nation, and leave all of our differences apart. This is a particularly challenging time for us. It is critical that in order to encourage the people, give them a glimmer of hope that will translate to a lightning of hope. What we have at COAF is a high sense of responsibility, a very high sense of ownership that we can build and rebuild our nation. We've grown in numbers in the last 20 years from just a handful of people. We were three people. This is the time to do it. Time is of the essence for us. Time is not our friend. And in order for us to deliver on our mandate, we have to unite and work together. We cannot yield to hopelessness. We have to yield to hope. A hope for the future that will define our nation and our country. It will define the future of our youth. And what COAF represents is 20 years of unwavering commitment to the people of our country, to the youth of our country. Just like we delivered the impossible in the last 20 years, now in the next five years, I expect by uniting the people of diaspora and Armenia to deliver something that we may think is impossible. Wait until you see the next five years. Then you will realize how impossible will become something possible.